Sometimes there's a certain piece of bad news that just makes you think, um, what on earth is going on? And this week that came in the form of Catfish and the Bottom End being announced as one of the headliners for Reading and Leeds Festival 2024. Now the reason this took so many people by surprise or is a little confusing is because the band was either on hiatus or split up, all under rather mysterious circumstances. As the last gig they performed was headlining Neighbourhood Weekender in 2021, to which I attended. And this certainly was their last gig. After shows to play alongside Tom Jones and the Stereophonics were postponed for various reasons to July 2022, only for Catfish to then pull out of the shows due to the band once again formally splitting up, as Bob Hall joined Bond on leaving Catfish due to apparent dysfunctional relationships. And I made my feelings clear on Catfish before on the channel, that although they're not entirely my cup of tea, I did think they were going to be the next big British band that would potentially dethrone Arctic Monkeys from their hot seat. However, although very successful, Catfish could never seem to quite take off in the same way. But I understand the love that comes for them as a band, and their music could be described as fairly banging. It's just a shame all of it sounds the exact same. <laughs> so I think it's fair to say that for a lot of people, especially fans of Catfish, after their mysterious departure, that the band returning being announced on a random Thursday night wasn't quite what anyone was expecting. But it is obvious that such news is incredibly exciting to a lot of people, and even myself, as someone who isn't a massive fan of the band, can't help but be interested in the mystery and ambiguity of the situation which surrounds the band, as their announcement of headlining leads in their apparent return only raises more questions. Like how many band members will be returning? Is it only going to be McCann and Blakeway with supporting musicians? Will they be announcing a UK or European tour in the build-up to next year? Does this mean that more music is on the way by Catfish? And once again, who on earth is going to be involved in the band? Will Catfish actually show up this time? Or will it be another heartbreak for fans? And finally, why is the band not speaking about this? And we all find out Catfish are returning to headline one of the biggest UK festivals through Twitter, or X as you may now call it. So overall, it's fair to say that Catfish's return is a rather interesting one indeed, whether you like the band or not. And it can't be denied that, to be fair, I'll be paying a lot of attention to what shape the band will be taking, which members are coming back, and if they'll be releasing any new music, as the dynamics within the band have certainly been strenuous over the last few years. Or will we be getting a panic at the disco situation where only the lead singer comes back? But hey, who knows? Maybe they'll finally prove me right and bridge that gap to become absolutely massive, in the same way Arctic Monkeys did. But till we hear from the band themselves, honestly, who knows? As they're not particularly reliable at this stage, I'd say. But I'm certainly here to see what happens. So do let me know what you think of this situation. If you think the full band is coming back, what kind of music they might be releasing. And if you're a fan of Catfish, why do you like listening to the same songs on repeat for three hours? <laughs> but as always, if you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe. And on that note, I think I'll say ta for now, and I'll see you later.